Hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of Reviewed by Joe for you. Well today guys, we're going to go ahead and replace these cafe style handlebars that we got with our Aero Rider X-Class and put on a pair of BMX style 9 inch riser handlebars. Let's go ahead and get this started, alright? Let's go. Alright guys, now pretty much everything we need to, um, to make this happen comes in that little tube kit that um, came with the bike. And this piece in particular is the one you're really going to use for the most part, especially as it relates to um, the handlebar itself. But I can tell you, um, be very careful when you're taking apart these little doodads, screws and clamps that um, are going to be a part of um, taking all these um, attachments off of your handlebars. Um, it was a pretty rainy day today and I had, you know, conducted this feed um, in the gazebo in the backyard. Let me tell you, I must have dropped these dang on screws a hundred times. So be smarter than me. Get a cup or something. Okay, it looks like we're going to get a little bit of sun. So it looks like the weather may cooperate with us for a little bit. So we're going to finish up outside. Um, as you can see, I got pretty much everything off in terms of the brakes and the control panel and all of that. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and get the um, drill and get that um, stubborn Phillips head screwdriver off the uh, little gear shift there and then I'm going to go ahead loosen and up this here um, stem and get that um, handlebar completely off this bike um, but before I do that got to take off these um, handlebar grips here uh, let me tell you something these are pretty good grips they're ergonomic they feel good so you know I'm going to go ahead and take these off and put them on the uh, the new BMX style handlebars but they were a pain in the you know what to get off but it happened so here we are the bare product everything's pretty clean you know so at this point here what I'm gonna do is just take it off at the base here you know I'm not gonna go ahead and release it anywhere else and this is what the uh, handlebar grips look like after I got them off there you know they're none less to wear so you know everything's looking pretty good there so yeah instead of spending you know 20 bucks for another pair you know why not use the bike like I said it's really pretty much a new bike anyway so let's go ahead and make that happen but yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and release this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just unscrew um, the handlebars directly from the um, stem. That way, you know, it's just a clean pull up and I don't have to worry about everything else so I can get the um, new handlebars on and there you have it. Bam! Just like that, guys. Um, everything is clean, looking good. And like you can see, if you look down there, you'll see that's what's called, a, I believe, a star nut. Um, I bought some spacers um, to ensure that it's a good clean fit um, once I put the replacement handlebars on there um, and it came with a star nut as well um, you know obviously I'm not going to need to use it at all and this is um, the spacers that I spoke of and it looks like I matched the color up pretty good likely enough just wanted to throw a little blom in there a little color but yeah you see that star nut that comes with it I'm not going to use that and it's a whole bunch of different sizes. I think it's like two of each size, a couple of five millimeters and different, you know, four millimeter different sizes. And you just match it up and make sure it's a nice snug fit. But like I said, I won't be needing that um, star nut. So I go ahead and get that um, out of there and then just go ahead and line this up and see what it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and make this happen here. Um, real quick, close, close, close up look there. Look at that match. Yeah, nice. So let's go ahead and do a dry run and put it together, kind of see what it'll look like. And as you can see here, guys, there you go. In this case here, it took um, two spacers, I believe one five millimeter or something like that, and two or something like that. I'm probably wrong, but that that was the fit. And um, you put that cap in there, it's a nice snug fit. And um, yeah, and so we're gonna go ahead and lock this in here. And um, what I try to do is um, align the um, axle and the um, alignment and the wheel and everything with that stem before I even put the handlebar on there. It seems to be a little easier that way um, and then yeah I'm mean, get the handlebars attached and eyeball it from there and here you have it. I'd go ahead and went ahead and put those BMX 9 inch riser BMX style handlebars on the um, Aerial Rider X class and uh, yeah like I said for someone 6'8 and, and the extra extension it gives me I think it's going to be um, a pretty, pretty good, pretty good change up. And as you can see here, there's about, uh, I don't know, about a 15 degree angle in terms of a tilt of the handlebars. So it's still going to get me a little, you know, have me a little aggressively engaged. You know, it's not going to be a directly upright um, position. So I'm going to give this a shot first and then I'm going to, um, you know, adjust accordingly. 
um, yep so here we go now let's go ahead and get all of this um, all this electrical stuff put back together the brakes and the speedometer and the gears and you know the whole control panel get that back on there and get these uh, uh, handlebar grips on as well so yeah everything's lined up pretty good guys uh, you know make sure when you're putting these handlebars on there you you do it by the book you know take your time especially when it comes to tightening up these handlebars you know don't just you know tighten up one screw all at one time you know you know go almost like an x pad and you know twist 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 you know pretty much like i'm showing you here with my finger and just slowly take your time until it's all tight and the same thing for the um stem you know it's really important you know these bikes go pretty fast so you want to be careful now in terms of getting these um, handlebar grips on there what i did was um use the secret i saw online was just put a little bit of dishwashing liquid a liquid dishwashing liquid uh, a little bit inside um the handlebar grips and they slide on easy peasy even though i'm not making it look too easy here with this um trying to do this one-handed camera trick here but um trust me they get on a lot easier than they would um otherwise so i suggest you give it a shot in fact just take a look here you'll see it go on a, like it's supposed to pretty much just put a little bit on the end there and then boom there you are and the good thing about this is is when this um, dishwashing liquid dries up these handlebar grips are just going to lock into place so that's the good news there and here we have it the guys. finished product all right what do you guys think looks pretty good to me but more important is how does it ride so i like the way it sits up guys it sits up pretty good like i said these bmx style handlebars have a nine inch riser and as a taller rider i think that's going to really give me the um more of an upright posture but as you can see here, I still have the um, handlebars tilted. I guess that's probably about maybe a, a 10 degree forward tilt that still gives you that, um, you know, that forward leaning aggressive stance. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it on the road and um, seeing how it really rides. Hopefully we can get some good weather and I'm going to get you guys some good video of me riding this um, Aerial Rider X class with these new BMX style handlebars. I also have a few accessories that I'm going to be adding to the bike, guys. Um, a few mirrors, um, you know, definitely some mirrors for safety. And I also got like a tank bag that's going to sit right on the um, crossbar here. But when I put it on, it looked a little whack, but we'll see how it goes. Just didn't fit my stilo. Thank you guys so much for tapping in. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, guys, please take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you can be a teacher and a student at the same time. Let's get it. Yeah.